Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Well, marine layer is in full effect across the Monterey Bay today, but we will see that burning off in the afternoon, so we'll start to see Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk get a bit more on the crowded side as we see some temperatures up into the mid to even high 70s. Right now, though, you see that low clouds and fog right around Monterey Bay, even stretching down into Salinas Valley as well. I even had the windshield wipers driving in windshield wipers on driving in today the mist and drizzle was so heavy so current temperatures on the cool side you can see mid 50s to low 60s we're really going to see those coming up over the next couple hours and our high temperatures coming up over the next couple of days the main reason for that is this high pressure system building into washington and oregon and i keep talking about this because this is the big story going on over the next few days Places in Washington and Oregon will have a number of days in a row over 105 degrees. Portland's forecast on Monday even expected to be 115. And you can see some of that heat is finding its way into California as well. So we do have um, warmer temperatures, especially for our inland areas in the forecast. Right now, though, you can see almost all of Washington and Oregon covered in that excessive heat warning and some of that heat finding its way into California. Like I said, inland temperatures remain warm, so where you'll most likely want to go throughout the day today is the coast because that's where you're going to get a little relief from some of that heat. If we look at when that marine layer will be burning off, because that'll determine when you want to go to the coast, still on the cool side right now, but by about 4 o'clock, actually maybe as early as 12 o'clock, you can see places like Santa Cruz transitioning into those sunny skies before that marine layer builds back in later tonight. So this is a good look. If you do manage to get out to Santa Cruz, both Saturday and Sunday looking absolutely beautiful, temperatures in the high 70s, and sunny conditions. Across the region, though, you can see those warm temperatures in the inland areas getting up into the low 80s to even low 90s in places like Gilroy, Morgan Hill, or King City. So, looking at your actual forecast highs, we're also going to be seeing some of those warm temperatures in the Santa Cruz Mountains up into the high 80s, low 90s in Boulder Creek, Santa Cruz 79, 74 in Capitola. You can see warm temperatures inland. There's that 91 in Morgan Hill, 93 in Gilroy, and then much cooler as you get closer to the coast, 66 degrees in Moss Landing. That's that big temperature difference that we start to see as that marine layer comes in. The coast will be much cooler, and then inland temperatures, even though you're not going that far away, will be 30 degrees warmer. Salinas Valley looking pretty Pretty comfortable if you're closer to the coast, 74 degrees and sunny in Salinas. Warmer as you go down to King City up into the low 90s. Monterey Peninsula, I'm seeing some low clouds hanging out around Pacific Grove and Pebble Beach throughout the day today, but we should have some clearing in Monterey. Should be beautiful conditions there. Your eight day forecast along the coast is looking great as well. Sunny conditions and comfortable temperatures as far out as we can even see in the forecast. Where things start to get hot is in the inland forecast. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be warming up and back into the low 90s on Sunday where that, some of that heat that's hitting Washington and Oregon will start to play a factor into our region as well. Great summer weather as we end out June. Oh yeah, gotta love it. We do. All right, Holt, thank you.